Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, our update for Saturday, June 1st, 2019. We kick off the month with a free pick coming up on this report, along with another NFL thumbnail over-under win sketch. We'll get to that in just a moment. If you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do so. Just click on the link below the video and get set up for a free $60 account. You'll be able to use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, it's a free $60 account. It all starts by clicking on the link below this video. All right, here's what's going on for Saturday. Listen, bright and early right now, go grab the pick if you're involved in the UFC. It's taking place overseas, UFC 153. Our fight goes bright and early around 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 7.30 a.m. Pacific. We're involved in one fight on Saturday, UFC 153. And go grab it now. Watch the video. Go Go over to DocSports.com, grab the pick. It is available right now as I cut this video. And again, we're up almost $4,500 for $100 per unit betters in the fight game since we came over to DocSports.com last summer. Just win after win. So go grab it right now. We are involved in one of the fights on Saturday morning. And again, it is an early play. So go grab it over at DocSports.com. As far as everything else, baseball. We've got a five-star play going in baseball on Saturday. And and I'm back in action in the NHL as the Stanley Cup Finals resume in St. Louis. It'll be game three. We want a big five-unit underdog play with the Blues in game two. And I've got a seven-unit play in the NHL going on Saturday, kicking off the month of June with a big seven-star play. We haven't had too many of these throughout the course of the year in the NHL. But you know how well we've done in hockey this postseason run. We've gained over $2,000 for $100 per unit betters, hitting over 70% of our our hockey plays in the playoffs of the last 11. So go grab that right now, today I should say, Saturday morning after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. You'll be able to grab that hockey play, big seven-star main event on the ice for Saturday night's Game 3 battle. Back in St. Louis, Game 3, Series tied 1-1. We'll tell you if we're on the Blues again or if we're back in the Boston Bruins if they've got the adjustments made and can take back home ice advantage. All available on SaturdayMorningDocSports.com and of course, the UFC fight that we're involved with is available right now as we speak. All right, so here's what's going on for us. Free pick in just a moment in Saturday's basis. We'll get to that, but I want to get back to our NFL thumbnail sketches because we left off with the Washington Redskins to go in the NFC East, and then after that, uh, we go to the NFC Central, excuse me, the NFC North, uh, where I'm going to take a look at the Chicago Bears. Uh, but right now, it's the Skins, and their over-under win total is six in some spots. There's also a six and a half out there with the juice on the under of a dollar thirty. That's what I like is under six and a half wins minus a buck thirty. When you look at this team, when you look at what they did last year, not bad on defense. They were good at picking off passes. They were good at getting to opposing quarterbacks. They lost a lot from last year. You know, they already had three guys that they knew they were going to lose, including Ha Ha Clinton Dix in the offseason. And then in OTAs not too many days ago, they lose Reuben Foster for the season due to the knee injury. And that on top of the other players they've lost is really a big deal and a big loss for these Washington Redskins on the defensive side of the football. As far as the offense is concerned, the offensive line's not that bad, but who's going to play quarterback? Will it be Colt McCoy? Uh, will it be Haskins, the kid, Dwayne Haskins out of Ohio State with that incredible cannon of an arm? There's one faction right now with the Skins who wants Haskins. There's one faction that wants to let him have a chance to learn the ropes, so to speak, at the NFL level. I think he plays sooner than later. I really do. They'll be able to run the football, and then with his arm, He's not a runner. He is a passer. And with his arm, he can definitely stretch opposing defenses. I don't know that he's going to do all that well in season one. Uh, but again, I think you want to get him in the mix, I would think, at least by week three or week four of the regular season. He'll probably start even sooner than that. Uh, as far as the draft this year for the Washington Redskins, I thought it was a B minus. I like the drafting of Dwayne Haskins. I like the other kid they got out of Ohio State, kid by the name of McLaren. He's a speed burner at wide receiver. Receiver and boy, do they need that because the targets for these quarterbacks to throw to, if you're the skins, are not good. So Gideon McLaren's going to help. He'll help stretch defenses. He does have skates. He can get up and down the field. And having that familiar, uh, I guess, familiarity with Haskins uh, being both at Ohio State is going to help. But those 
two draft picks really kind of took this from to me a C to a B minus or a B as far as their draft was concerned. When you look at that schedule for the Washington Redskins, when we factor that into the mix, there's a good chance this team could be 0 and 5 through the first five games and 2 and 7 before they get to their bye week in week 10. You look at the second half of the schedule, I think there's three wins over their final seven games, which isn't bad, but the fact is they only win two of their first nine the way I got it broken down. So I'm looking for a 5 and 11 season out of the skins, and that means we like under six and a half. Again, there's juice about a buck thirty on under six and a half, but that's the way we're going. Washington under six and a half minus a dollar thirty is our play on the skins, and that wraps up the NFC uh, East. Next up will be the NFC North. We'll be talking about the Chicago Bears with our next NFL thumbnail sketch, which will go on Monday. Of course, we're here each and every day of the week with free picks, other than yesterday uh, overnight, one o'clock in the morning Pacific time on Friday morning. Uh, tried to cut the video, but we had some serious auto te audio technical problems, but obviously those have been taken care of on Friday afternoon and into Friday evening. So we'll be here each and every day of the week unless there's a technical issue. I don't foresee more many of those happening. We've had one or two in a year. Uh, so anyway, we're back in action, and we will also be right back here on Saturday, excuse me, on Sunday morning uh, by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. We will have NASCAR, by the way. NASCAR picks available on Saturday night, no later than 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, Saturday night. We swept the month of May in NASCAR with our matchups and gained $1,500 for $100 per unit betters in the process. So don't miss out on this week's race at Pocono. Of course, the race is on Sunday. Picks available late Saturday night. Let's get to our free pick for Saturday's card. And we're looking at a battle right now uh, in baseball between the Angels and the Mariners. You got Andrew Haney going up against Tommy Malone. Here's the thing. Now, Andrew Haney had the one start so far. He faced Texas. In fact, both of these pitchers have faced Texas and nobody else so far this season. As far as Haney's concerned, he pitched okay against the Texas Rangers, but he did, you know, he just gets gives up too many home runs. And when you look at what he did against Seattle in about 23 innings pitched, he's just given up numerous home runs. His home runs per nine innings pitched uh, ratio right now is huge because he's given up seven home runs in 23 innings pitched. His last 23 frames against Seattle, he's allowed seven home runs. That is obviously a horrible uh, home runs per nine innings pitch average. And what do we always talk about when we speak of the Mariners? Yeah, they've been horrible since that 13-2 and two start. They don't manufacture runs. They count on the long ball. And Haney, other than maybe that first start against Texas, he gave up two. He only gave up two base runners. He gave up two home runs. And I'll tell you what, they will be able to hit the long ball, I believe, off of Andrew Haney again, just like they've done in the pass. On the flip side, you got Tommy Malone. I mean, here's a guy with a horrible home runs per nine innings pitch mark. If you go back and see what Tommy Malone has done. Now, he's had two games so far this year against Texas and nobody else, but here's the thing. You're talking about a guy who has given up 22 home runs in his last 74 and two-thirds innings pitched. Again, over two for a home run ratio. It's ridiculous. It's bad. I think the Angels will be able to hit a couple against him. I think Seattle will be able to hit a couple against Haney and we like over nine and a half as our free pick on Saturday. Again, the Angels, the Mariners, your matchup of Haney and Malone over nine and a half the free pick. All right, that's going to do it for us for Saturday. Again, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'll be right back here Sunday morning, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column.